uh, today I will present about the status of my research. So I was doing a research on clustering algorithms, more specifically about hierarchical algorithms. I wanted to drive my research toward predicting the performance of students in high school because there are a lot of paper, a lot of research about this topic, but mostly focus on performing of the students in, in, in the university. I guess because the teacher who, the professor who do the research, they are more involved with universities. Since I was trying to cluster students according to their performance, I decide to drive my, my research in one of the class, clustering algorithms most used, hierarchical, as I say, no? I read about hierarchical algorithms a lot, but due to a personal issue, I had to stop my research for a while. So now I'm back to my research. And to be honest, uh, I had to review and recap uh, about the clustering algorithms again. So I start again from something basic, the most common clustering algorithms, k-means, hierarchical again, dbscan, gmm. I start understanding the math behind these algorithms because when I read paper, the part where the math comes or about the algorithms, it's hard for me to understand, to be honest. So I wanted to start by understanding the math behind the, these algorithms. So I, I, I start again my research by understanding the math of these algorithms. So reading about these algorithms in website, and watching some videos in YouTube, and reading some blogs and also some books, I found a term that repeats a lot. Deterministic and stochastic models. So I was curious. So I was trying to understand, I was trying to read like, what is, what is this about, no? So reading about these two terms, I found uh, a book, actually two books, and it mentioned and repeated uh, a new term. So this new term was Metaheuristic algorithms, heuristic and metaheuristic algorithms. So I was curious, what is heuristic and metaheuristic algorithms? So I start now reading about heuristic and metaheuristic algorithms. So here is where my new research starts. I start reading more about these two terms, heuristic and metaheuristic algorithms, and I found this picture in one of the books that I was reading. Uh, this book explains really, really, really well the, the, the difference between these two terms and explain a, a little about um, each uh, algorithm, each method here in this picture. Later on, I found this picture in one, of, in, in one paper. and So I was so excited because uh, this was what I was looking for because a young before she asked me to to search about dragonfly algorithm and intentionally I found it by reading about metaheuristical algorithms I found um, dragonfly algorithm so I was kind of like happy excited because and intentionally uh, I came to that point so I want to be able to understand the algorithm that a chan uh, had, she asked me to to read about so I start reading papers about swarm based algorithms as you see here and i start from pso particle swarm optimization after that i, I read about aco ants colony optimization as you can see uh, on the right and yes i was reading about this algorithm i read a lot of papers about these algorithms to be honest um and i was fascinated <laughs> I really like this algorithm because it's easy to understand, it's easy to implement, and there are a lot of research. So I was I was fascinated. I was happy with these algorithms. So 
uh, now I find myself uh, uh, reading, uh, searching about Dragonfly algorithms. Uh, as you notice, Dragonfly algorithm was created in 2016 and the ANT colony optimization was created in 1998. So I have a question, which one do you think has more research about? The dragonfly or the ant colony optimization? So yes, of course, seems ant, ant colony optimization is older than dragonfly. It has more researchers about. But which one do you think is more feasible to improve? So yeah, uh, the easiest to improve is dragonfly algorithm because there are less research about that, no? So I am in that point, reading about dragonfly algorithms, understanding these new algorithms. A Chan asked me to do one more thing, and it was to find the code in GitHub of these algorithms. And since it's a new algorithm, its code is in Python. And to be honest, I feel more comfortable working with Python. So I was really uh, happy to find the code in GitHub. There is a website that I really like it, and it's called uh, Papers with Code. And also in that website, I found this, this code and this paper. So right now I'm doing two things in this moment. The first one is reading and understanding about Dragonfly algorithms. And the second part is understanding um, kind of like playing with the code of Dragonfly. Regardless to the, the first part, reading about Dragonfly algorithms, you know there are a lot of papers that sometimes they review what people have been doing um, in, that, in that area, no? Like in that topic for the last 10 years. So one of the papers of, one of the latest papers that I read about Dragonfly algorithms uh, it's a review of the evolution of, of these algorithms since it came. So this is the paper that uh, I read is from 2020 and it mentioned besides merging new researching method with the uh, Dragonfly algorithm is highly, highly recommended to researcher. So it's, it's highly, to, um, highly recommended to research uh, how to merge, how to combine, how to um, make this hybrid algorithm with others, no? So uh, right now I'm doing that two things, reading more about um, Dragonfly algorithms. Uh, Achan asked me to read about hybrid or hybridization uh, algorithms. So how can I implement, how can I combine this new algorithm with other methods or with other algorithms, with other uh, metaheuristic algorithms. So that is what I'm doing. I hope everyone is doing good in, in your research and thank you so much and have a good day.